Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achar, the big, beautiful Kirk. What's we're going we're to look at frightened TikTok star finds a new home. Wholesome, and in, in parentheticals. Now, this is from Ryan George's YouTube channel. For those of you who are not familiar with Ryan George, he is an awesome YouTuber himself. He uh, generally works for Screen Rant doing the pitch meetings, but he's got his own YouTube channel where he does little skits like this that are all lovely and fun and generally wholesome. Generally, <laughs> yeah. Generally speaking, they're quite innocuous and yeah. still like clever and, and funny. Because of the whole TikTok shenanigans that have gone down in the, in the recent history, I thought that this could be a fun video for us to react to. So thank you, Ryan George. George, first off, for allowing us to react to this. Very much appreciated. If you all enjoy the video that you're about to watch, make sure to head over to Ryan George's YouTube channel, subscribe to his channel, give the original video an upvote, Frightened TikTok Star Finds a New Home, parenthetical, wholesome, and parenthetical. And there you go, here we go, let's watch it. When my girlfriend and I heard that TikTok might be shutting down, we immediately thought, you know, those poor TikTokers, they're not gonna have anywhere to do whatever it is that they do. Sure enough, just a couple days later, my girlfriend's coming home from work and she sees this guy and he's just doing these nonsensical dances and faces. <laughs> and she calls me and she says, you know, I think there might be a straight TikToker running around our neighborhood. He looks very lost. You know, to be honest, I wasn't sure we would have what it takes to take in a TikToker. You know, we had fostered a couple of Viners back in the day, but I don't know what's going on on TikTok. But it didn't take him long to come out of his shell. When the camera is on him, he lights up. He does all these weird dances oh, and these God. facial expressions that I don't quite understand. He keeps rubbing his hands together and touching his chin we don't really know what that's about he does have a bad habit of biting his bottom lip a lot and we're just hoping he doesn't need stitches hey, for that no, no biting no biting it just broke our hearts to see the state he was left in you know because he's clearly starving you know for attention he <laughs> likes to do this thing where he lip syncs over things he didn't create as if that was anything <laughs> as if that was a talent to be proud of we're just we're just really happy that he's found a home with us you know it's nice to know that he's safe here until he you know probably downloads instagram or I don't know, matures a little bit. Oh god, he bit his lip too hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> That makes me so happy. I don't know why. I just hate TikTok. Yeah, I was gonna say, cause you hate, you've never even really tried it though. I know, but I just reminded of that whole conversation we had with Natasha. She was like defending TikTok and how good TikTok is. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And then he, talk, he did the thing with the office there where he's like imitating the office next to the TV. He likes to do this thing where he lip syncs over things he didn't create. <laughs> he's so mean to it. He's like, as if that's a talent. As if that was a talent to be proud of. God damn. And the biting the, the lower lip What does that thing? have to do? I don't understand that joke. I don't, listen, I don't look at TikTok enough to really know, but I guess that's like a thing. And like the... Yeah. The thing about it is, there's so much out there now that it's like, that's content, including reaction videos. I was like, gonna say. Every, everything is questionable at this point, including yeah. movies themselves. It's like Martin Scorsese straight up called out Marvel films and was like, that's not, those aren't films, that's not cinema, those are roller coaster rides, or something like that. I forgot exactly what he said, but he was talking disparagingly of Marvel films. Shame on Scorsese, they're, they're fantastic. They're great! But reality TV, when it first caught on and became part of regular television programming, a lot of people in the industry were pissed. They're like, this is not- This is this not, not art. This is, this is not art, this isn't TV yeah. shows, like what are you doing? And the reason why they flourished so much is because they were cheap to make. People like ate them up, like, like whatever's on TV, people are gonna watch, generally speaking, kind of like back in the day, whatever's on the radio, you're gonna listen to. Now you got options. Now you got Pandora and YouTube music and uh, iTunes and whatnot. And so yeah. it's a little bit different. You got, demo everything's been democratized. Like Netflix has that show, uh, the Indian marriage show and the like- Indian matchmaker. There you go. Boom. And then uh, we have um, the one that um, Baby Yoga introduced to us. Oh, Love is Bl Blind. Love is Blind. That's a fantastic oh, reality show. My, my point being is that reality TV is quite abundant. A at one point, it was like, that's content. That's not content. That's not art. Now it's like everywhere. But it's basically scripted these days. I enjoy it. And at least that one. I enjoyed what I saw from Tame Bot. What, what a look, surprise. Indian, Indian marriage making. Like I enjoyed that a bit. And then I enjoyed the love is not, you can't see shit. That one, <laughs> I enjoyed that a bit. But it's garbage at the end of the day. It's but like junk food. But you watch it to like turn off your brain for a it's, bit. Like life is hard already and you're just watching this stuff to feel happy. And maybe in the same way, that's like TikTok. That's you know? exactly what I'm getting to. Stuff. Thank you. You're just flicking through, you're just scrolling through and it's like, oh, that was a cute dance. That was a cool thing. But it's so accessible because like anyone can 
try and lip sync yes. to a thing. But there are some really cool TikToks out there yes. though. So all that being said, okay, that's my big disclaimer, is that anything is content these days and anything can be questioned these days. I don't like it. <laughs> Like, you made my point for me. I don't me. like it! I just, I'm just not into it. What I've been exposed to of TikTok, I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm good. It just reminds me of Vine. I get this weird, like, feeling when I, when I look at that stuff where I'm just like, yeah, I'm not into it for some reason. You don't like the super short form stuff. I like the dancing and stuff. I think it's cool. There's, like, gymnastics or just, like, funny things. Sometimes it's nice, but I do find that I can fall down a black hole of TikTok for a long time. Not anymore. Sucks you in. That shit's gone. Bye bye. Goodbye. Now we go back reels. to China. <laughs> Instagram no. reels. Yeah, Instagram. Oh God. I get tricked into looking at Instagram reels from time to time. Because you I'm... think it's an IGTV or yeah. something. Yeah. Can you just like make it one thing? Why does it have to be so many different things? Instagram is just a big mess now. It's all the same shit. It's just just be Instagram. Like, why are you making it complicated? Disneyland did the same thing. You got Disneyland, you got California Adventures. Why not just Disneyland? Why not just one ticket for everything? <laughs> this is yeah, silly. That, that would be nice. Everyone criticized Facebook when they did this, when they separated Facebook and Facebook Messenger. And uh, what's his face? Made Mark, it all. Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg was like, well, we're just trying to, you know, make it great for the users. That's who we're thinking of. Oh yeah, you are. Just the users. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, now I got two apps on my phone instead of one. It was, it was working just fine. Anyway, point being, Sometimes, as a YouTuber, you do wonder like, okay, if YouTube goes to shit, what do I do? What are my options? Like, where right. do I go next? Like, how do I take what I have been doing all this time and apply it somewhere else? And there are ways to apply what we do now to other mediums, to other facets, like whether it's a TV show or something like, or other social media networks of some kind. Like there are ways to implement this stuff. Being able to mimic a song is not necessarily like something you throw on the resume. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can edit TikToks really well. I'm just saying. This video really, really highlights how you can't really go anywhere with this skill set. Oh, well, just make your millions, make sure that you're not squandering them, get yourself a good financial advisor, then branch out and do other things, make products and stuff. I mean, that's build actually, yourself so you're a brand. That's actually great advice. Achara and I, while maintaining social distance and being safe, we shot a video with a friend not too long ago, and he was saying how he was actually invited to, and, we, and you mentioned the same thing. We were invited to one of those early TikTok parties for the initiation of TikTok. They invited us to join TikTok and at the time, like I was just like busy with creating all this other content. It was just kind of like, oh, what's this other platform? And now I'm like, oh, should have joined that. Should have capitalized on that thing. Should have jumped on that train when no. it was choo-choo and past the platform. <laughs> you never know when you're going to a Robin Thick party. That's what I always say. Okay, so that's an inside joke that most of you aren't gonna get. So I'll explain it. Long time ago, I went to a uh, the Robin Thicke's first album release party in Hollywood. It was this like tent thing that was erected in like in West Hollywood. What's her name? Something Bloodgood? Moon. Moon Bloodgood. Is that her name? Yes, I believe so. Or Moon Blood, Blood Moon Blood or something. Moon Blood. She was in Terminator, and she was the bartender that evening. This was before she was famous. I waited for a while to meet this Robin Thicke fella, and he never showed up. It was like 10 at night. I'm like, when is this guy gonna show up to his album release party? And then like, I think it was 10, 30, 11. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna leave. And he probably showed up right as I probably, left. Probably, yeah. And then I worked with his, Dal his, Dalin, his dad, Alan Thicke, on a separate occasion. Had nothing to do with Robin Thicke whatsoever. My point is, great story. Robin Thicke didn't show up to his own party, at least not on time. That was like me on one of my birthdays. All my friends arrived first and I was too busy getting ready. And then <laughs> I got stuck on the bus for an hour. <laughs> Everyone was there. I'm like, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm late to my own birthday party. Let's get drunk. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed some of that randomness. I very much enjoyed this frightened TikTok star finds a new home video wholesome. And I thought it was wholesome, and except for the blood, but uh, that made sense yeah. in the context of the joke. Be sure to subscribe to Ryan George's YouTube channel. He's got lots more of these that are... Good God. Do you hear that? Mm-hmm. That guy clearly has a huge penis. Songs. Yeah. That's how you know they've got big balls, when they've drilled holes into their mufflers so everyone can hear it. Put a subwoofer in there. And they there. have a very, very, very ginormous car. C -c -c -car. A car with too much bass. That's how you know they have a huge penis. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I have a tiny car and the volume's always low. So you know what that says about me. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media, as well as Ryan George, as well as myself. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. Actually, we have an interview with Ryan George on Get Jabby if you want to, want to check that out. I'm a little drunk. 
I'm Jabby Koi. This is Acharika. Peace out.